Hey guys, I'm Infected Britain, and this is my new game trailer channel. Uh, what we're going to be looking at some of the new awesome uh, trailer videos for the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, the Wii U, coming up from 2014. Uh, the first one today is The Division from Ubisoft and Tom Clancy. Uh, we're specifically looking at the Snowdrop engine, uh, which the video is coming up pretty soon. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about it afterwards, uh, but what I want to know is your thoughts and feelings. So leave me a comment, hit the subscribe button, and then the next video we'll be talking a little bit about those comments. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Peggy 18. The Snowdrop engine was specially developed to create the deep and vast universe of Tom Clancy's The Division. Never before has a video game reached this level of detail. This chaotic and decayed New York City is enhanced by a dynamic day-night cycle. The rendering engine supports volumetric lighting to add atmosphere throughout the environment. As in film production, Snowdrop uses a light probe system that captures lighting realistically in both outdoor and indoor scenes. To enhance immersion, surfaces react with unprecedented physical accuracy. Snowdrop's powerful particle system reacts dynamically to a vast range of environmental factors, including light. By harnessing next-gen technology, Snowdrop's shader system allows the world to react to the constantly changing weather. We live in a fragile world. The Snowdrop engine makes this world a reality. Be prepared to enter the next generation of gaming. So, that was the new trailer for The Division and the Snowdrop game engine. The vast open worlds they mentioned at the beginning sounds really cool, uh, but I want to see that follow through. I want to be able to run through the whole of New York, go to the Statue of Liberty, have a fight out of, uh, inside or whatever. Um, yeah, that would be awesome, but the, I'm worried that they're going to put restrictions on that, have set paths. That could be a little bit of a downfall. The weather, really, really cool idea, uh, but I could see a couple of issues maybe with that. Uh, a bit glitchy, especially during the start of the game when it first comes out, because uh, it is an online game, it's fully online, uh, there'll be loads of other players on there as well, so I can imagine that taking a little bit of a hit, uh, along with the lighting, that was awesome, uh, pretty cool, the whole day-night cycle, and the shadows on the buildings, and when they were in the shadow and you could see the light in the cars, that all looked really fantastic, um, and I want to see a lot more of that, uh, and I hope that sort of runs quite fruitly through the game as well. Uh, but but so far there's a whole lot of aspects that I think could make the game really good uh, v visually definitely uh, gameplay wise the first trailer from E3 that looked fantastic fighting the guys on the building um, yeah I think it could shape up to be a really good game uh, so I'm gonna give it a score out of 10 I'm gonna give it 8 out of 10 um, because th those two I want to give it the, two, the last two marks but um, until I see another trailer and see the gameplay a bit more uh, I'm gonna leave it leave it at 8 uh, but give, give me your scores, give me your comments uh, in the, below, and uh, we'll, we'll mention them in the next game. Uh, the best ones obviously will get mentioned first. So uh, yeah, yeah, hit me up and hit the subscribe button so you can get to see the next video straight away. Thanks very much, guys. Bye. -bye.